Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's ride. Champagne for the champions. Hell yeah, we winning. And in 2018, all I'm saying is, man, we ain't getting caught in no emotions. No emotions, man. Hey, you got it? Hey, hey, I want to say something. I want to say something real quick. Go ahead. Fuck these hating ass motherfuckers, dog. I seen a lot of hateration in the last fucking two hours of my fucking life. Fuck these hating ass motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Let me do what I said. Let me do what I said. They ain't saying I'm side with nobody. But I don't fuck with that hating ass shit, man. I know motherfuckers gonna hate. Like the motherfucking Kanye West said. My next guest, man, we, 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 we conversated through Facebook, you know, we had been talking about, you know, him coming out to my showcases or whatever, and then, you know, I'm not even going to go into the drama because I'm not going to give anybody free publicity on me. Um, somebody posted something crude on my page, you know what I'm saying? And, and the support that I felt from this artist, man. As a grown man, as an artist, you know, was overwhelming to me. You know what I'm saying? We 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 never met physically face to face, but uh he, he stood up for me and uh, I didn't even have to do anything. I just sat back and looked at the rest of the post transpired. Um so with that being said, once I did meet the man, it was a wrap. I'm pretty sure we were drunk by the end of the night, passing weed day, passing beers around and buckets and buckets and pictures of beer, you know what I'm saying? But all in all, we had a great time. We had fun, you know what I'm saying? And whenever I get in the building with this man, the vibe is just unbelievable. It's remarkable, man. He has, he has one of the hottest, hippest vibes, you know what I'm saying, that I've ever felt from an artist. He's genuine, man. And, it, and it's, it's, it's real hard to meet a person and then off the rip, you can say, oh man, this dude's genuine. But he is definitely genuine. Hey. And I'ma just say, you know, with that being said, that his name. Well, this is your boy Mike Melton. You about to take a ride with the award-winning Mr. Exclusive, aka Grind Hard, aka Next to Blow. Get about your motherfucking seats. Exclusive. Get him. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something, man. I, I I think I've been told that I'm so photogenic 
But I, if you ever notice, I don't post so, selfies. It's, it's just something with me. Every time I take a selfie, I'm like, first of all, I think that's real feminine. Yeah, yeah. For all you niggas taking selfies, yeah. I said it. I think it's real feminine. I think it's a lady's thing myself too. So. Hey, oh, yeah. just 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 to say the least. But we are gonna leave that alone. But man, ever since I have graced the presence of LPM, man, I have definitely found some of my favorite pictures, man. I appreciate it. I definitely I have it. found. Hey, I I don't even understand how that picture of me sitting on the stage. <laughs> Talking shit to a person <laughs> came out to look so fly, yeah. but that's one of my favorite pictures, man. Yeah, Everybody's yeah. like, Kiki, what are you? Why are you sitting on, on the ground on fucking Indian style? I'm like, I'm cussing somebody out yeah. right now. Like, I'm really literally cussing a motherfucker out right now. But the picture, it didn't even look like. It. Yeah, it just ended up being a nice look. Uh, and not, you, you just had to be there to know what was happening. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, man. And uh, you know, I, I, I kick this shit a lot because you know what I'm saying. I come in here and people are like, man. This girl talk shit. And I'd be like, man, if only you knew. This is not even half of the shit that I talk. You know what I'm saying? When I'm bouncing around looking at motherfuckers all night long. But um, first and foremost, man, um, tell the people how to get in touch with you. How can they find you? Um, Y'all can check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Mr. Exclusive Uno. That's Mr. Exclusive U-N-O. Y'all can find me on Facebook. Uh, my fan page is Mr. Exclusive. Look it up. Y'all already know what it is, man. Um, Reverb Nation, Mr. Exclusive Uno, uh, pretty much everything is the same, so any site you go to, um, we just put the website up, you know what I'm saying, it's a little busy right now, we're still, we still out. building right now, but you know what I'm saying, like, the official link will be dropped right now, we connected to the actual service or the server, so, you know what I mean, it's all good, we're just kind of trying to put everything together so it's official, but, you know, everything's going good so far as far as that goes. Hey, you missed the exclusive. Everything is uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Everything is exclusive. That's what, your name. It just it, 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 it everything's exclusive. Yeah, that's, exclusive. that's how I'm trying to keep it. That's how I'm trying to keep it. So you know, we 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 we've talked at Benefield um, at the Radio Ready Showcase, but um, I don't think you know, be personal for a little bit. Let me get personal. What what are some of the things that motivated you to like really get into music and keep doing? Uh. As far as getting in, I've been literally doing this my whole life. Like I was in the marching band in high school. We used to have freestyle sessions, and okay. I've been, you know, what I'm saying beat wise, and just really just putting words together. You know, like that was just a natural thing, cause that's just what was already in me. You know, just for me to keep doing it is exactly that, because it was already in me. Like it's something that okay, well, this is what you're supposed to be. Doing. Like a lot of times you start doing things and you don't really know if it's what you're supposed to be doing. When you find out, just keep going with it because a lot of times it's going to lead you in the right direction. You know Definitely. I mean? And see, a lot of people think, y'all, you know, a lot of people think, oh, Kiki's just my friend on Facebook. She just likes stuff. She doesn't pay attention. But certain times when people do drop knowledge, man, it's something that sticks out to me. And I'm like, oh, man, like he really dropped some knowledge right there with that. Now, I might get this wrong, but you said it either yesterday, the day before, who knows? Like, I'm on Facebook in and out so much. You, you've made a statement in regards close to uh, not making a New Year's resolution. Tell people what that was. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't, I don't make New Year's resolutions because it, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, if I'm not already preparing to better my life every day, every month, every year, then there's no sense to me trying to declare one thing at the beginning of the year. You see what I'm saying? No, I definitely like, it doesn't agree. make sense to me. So, you know, like every year is a, you know, so no matter what I did last year, that was last year. Now we're on to something new. We're on to another opportunity to do bigger and better things. You know what I'm saying? We love what we did last year. We want to try to do better this year. You know what I mean? Definitely. definitely. With that being said, man, hey, get on, go on the website, www.aumaradio. Hey, and nominate your boy. He, he got flyers all over the city, man. <laughs> Every time I look up, man, I, I like his hustle. I like his grind. Like I said, man, it's just something about this man that we just click. That's a hey, team light skin. This is my From brother the right here, man. <laughs> we, it, it, it's never been a problem, man. Y'all get on there and, you know, tell the people what, what, what categories are you up for. Uh, right now, man, we working on uh, best song, best song of the year. You know what I'm saying? Y'all so, heard that, know, man. I've been, been pushing the business real heavy. Everybody knows that we, um, we almost have 11,000 on SoundCloud. So it's, it's really about the numbers thing, you know what I'm saying? That's that's like one of my 
premier record because my coming out record as far as when I finally figured out, okay, boom. Because you know, you go to the studio sometimes, you record a song, like, yo, this is hot. You know what I'm saying? But you got to know, like, when we dropped that joint, when I played the beat, I purchased the beats that like a couple nights before, when I dropped the joint, I sat back in my man chair, I'm like, yo, this is the shit right here. <laughs> like, this is the goal right here. <laughs> and that's how it is, man. Sometimes, and I think that's a problem that a lot of artists have. Because, again, I listen to music all day, every day. People are sending me tracks after tracks after tracks. And, you know, sometimes it's hard for artists to accept constructive criticism. Yeah. So when I'm sitting there like, man, okay, like, you get in, and that beat just grab you. You're like, okay, okay, okay. But then they start flowing on it, and you're like, mm, not so much, man. And then, you know, it, you can, then you can be like, well, you know, it ain't nothing that you might want to, you know, drop on the radio. That might be something you want to leave for the record. You know what I'm saying? To have as a, as a, a track, but not as, like, your hit. Your yeah. And those are the things I think about, too, when I go to the studio, like, as far as dropping music, you know what I mean? It's like, what do I want to do today? Am I dropping a single, or am I looking to just play something on a mixtape or an album? It's, it's a whole lot of different things that you need to think about when you start recording. And the number one thing is be honest with yourself. And number two, respect when other people are honest with you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because if everybody's saying the same thing, nine times ten is probably true, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> Man, and I and I said this at Ben Fields, you know, you, you, you know, I get to talk to you. It, see, that's what people don't understand, man. They look at me and they be like, "Well, Kiki, I'm at Ben Fields. Da, 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 da. You, you still want me to come up to the station? Yeah, because at the station, man, it's it's more personal. It's just me yeah. and you. I don't have to worry about. Oh, I'm here. Can I sign up? You got my song. You know what I'm saying? So I could just talk to you, man. But I, I told you that first night, man. It was something about it's you and a couple other cats. You know, I, I know people already know but they feel like I just favorite certain independent <laughs> artists. Ah, you and this bitch. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Slim. Slim. Man, let's yeah, go. Is. But you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's something about the three of you. Your stage presence. Sometimes, the, the, the first, when you got into like the first song, because you didn't do the Make It Rich first. You did something else because you sent me the show list. Yeah. And it was like, okay, like I wasn't even listening to the words because your stage performance was just like killing it. My, my little brother said the same thing that night. He was like, man, this stage performance is sick. And then, you know what I'm saying, to get up there and you got slim and you got sawed off. and You know what I'm saying? And then after this fact, you're like, oh shit, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me tune out his state, the, the energy that he's putting forth on the stage and listen to what his words are really saying. Then you get that and then you're like, Oh shit. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh shit. So if, if you had to give a pointer to, you know, any up and coming independent artist, you know, about stage performance, you know, what 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 pointer, what tip would you give them about stage performance? Be who you are around your friends, you know what I'm saying? Like 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 I'm a jokester, like I'm gonna shoot the shit, I'm gonna talk shit, I'm gonna make jokes. I don't care if you don't laugh with me, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna laugh and have fun, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I try to bring to the stage, and that's why I encourage anybody to bring to the stage. Bring yourself to the stage, you know what I'm saying, and then lose yourself, you know what I'm saying? Okay. When your music drops, just lose yourself and do what you do. Don't care about what nobody else has done before you, what they're going to do after you, what somebody might be looking at you when you're doing something crazy. If that's you, be you. Do your thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because, you know, that's what I, that's what I encounter a lot. Oh, I don't want to be the first person to go. Oh, don't put me up after such and It's too such. many more. It's too no. many cool motherfuckers be trying to get on stage. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you got a hot ass record, and I'm like, yeah, I'm like, nobody see the performance. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And, you know, and, and 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 that's what I try to encourage people. You know, um, especially at the Radio Radio Showcase, when you're out live anywhere, man, don't be discouraged because Mr. Exclusive just went on and killed it. You know what I'm saying? Or don't be discouraged because Slim just went on and killed it. Sawed off went on it. You know what I'm saying? You can't let that discourage you because it shows. Okay. You know, and it's nothing like hearing a hot track like you said. And you're like, oh man, the shit was hot, but where was he at? Yeah. <laughs> where, where was the artist at in this whole thing? I heard the music was banging, but I did not see the artist. Yeah. Like, at all. And that's why, you know, like, like, the number one thing about that is I don't care if there's 20 people there or 20,000 people there. You never know who's in the building. I don't yeah. care if you if, if this is your first time performing and you just started, 
you have to put on your best impression because that's what people gonna remember. You know what I'm saying? Every time they see you, it's like yo, motherfucker killed it. Uh, so I was like, but I don't have time to coach that performance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and and, and you know, and, and and it's sad, but hey, I I, I speak the truth. Yeah. And if you don't like it, then fuck you. But <laughs> Real talk. It, it's <laughs> artists that hit me up and be like, man, I was at your showcase. I performed. Da, 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 and I'm sitting here like, who? <laughs> what? What, what yeah. did you perform? Yeah. And then I go back and I listen to the song and I be like, you performed it? Where was I? No, matter of fact, not where was I, where were you? Yeah, and I'm not, like, I'm not making this up to seem like I'm anybody, but I've never had to happen, but I have to imagine that's the worst feeling for an artist is somebody to be like, what did you, what happened? What was you doing yeah. again? What was I'm your song? You. I mean, listen, like, if, if there's not something they can remember you, like, you say, oh, okay, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if it's just like, uh, it was like, oh man, I want to schedule an interview, you know, I did a showcase of Benefields with you on Monday, da, 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 da. my name is such and such, and I'm like, oh man, I, I, got the number, yeah, I got the number off the flyer, you know, da, 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 da. and I'm like, man, what, who, what, what was the song? I'm going to listen to the song and I'm going to call you right back, and then just don't call back. Yeah, because I mean, if you, if you can't remember the, the performance, it's hard to remember the song. Fuck the single, I put on the show. Let's go. Let's get started. Fuck the single, I put on the show. Let's go. Let's get it. Hell yeah, we win it. We win it. Win it. You fuck niggas in the business. My old bitch ain't acting right. My new bitch gon' get it. She gon' get it. Hell yeah, that business. Champagne for champions. Hell yeah, we win. take artists in and we teach them about getting registered yeah. uh, with BMI, C-Sex, so scan, all that. You know, where a lot of other people aren't doing it. That's crazy because, you know, like I like I, I run into a lot of artists who, when you talk BMI, ASCAP, C-Sex, it's foreign to them. It's like, what is that? Well, yeah, you know, what, is what do we do? Uh, like, how do I do that? Like, where do I do? This is how you get paid. Like, what do you mean? And then, oh, but then you get that. Oh, I, I get paid? Oh, I get paid? <laughs> I, I'm not signed to a label. What do you mean get paid? Like, I thought I had to be signed to a label to get paid. So. Exactly. Everybody's looking for a record deal. Like, there's nothing wrong with a record deal if it makes sense. But it, it can't make sense if you don't know anything about the business. You know what I'm saying? Like, the market is too open for artists, producers, uh, whoever, to not know anything about the business, to have a conversation with another business person that's already in the business to make them know that I know something. So you're not going to play me any kind of way. You know what I'm exactly, saying? Exactly, exactly. Man, man, 
I know I got other people, I can't just see. Nah, nah, it's not good. Hey, I'm telling y'all right now, I'm only giving this out because we're on the radio. Like, I stopped that shit at the beginning of the year. That wasn't a resolution, I just quit that shit because there's too many people asking me questions and not giving them information and they don't do anything with it, so I don't have that kind of time. Man, to hey, you know don't, I mean? you don't got that much time to waste, man. I ain't got that much breath to waste, man. <laughs> if you understand how many times people hit me up and want to know about getting registered, you're like, oh man, come up to the station, yeah. let me get you registered. I'm, I'm gonna do this for you, I'm gonna do that for you. And then, you know, it goes in one ear and out the other. But, uh, again, man, hey, about to give y'all a little special surprise, you know. Yeah. Where, oh, there we go. You know what I'm saying? So, you, you wanna introduce the track that you're about to do? Uh, yeah, I'm about to do the new single, man, uh, Make It Rich. Y'all, uh, you know what time it is, man, uh, time this shit to fuck up. Shout out to my man, Jay Varsity, man, New York City, stand the fuck up. North Carolina, stand the fuck up, you know what I'm saying? ATL. Now, normally when I do this shit, it's a lot of bars in the building. All that is strip club. And I don't give a fuck tonight, you know what I'm saying? We having a good time. This is what we do. Hold up, let's go. Fresh up off the job, pocket full of cash. Trying to hit the club and see some stripper ass. Hey, bitch, I'm in the A. What the fuck you thought? You about to get paid. All we do is pop. Y'all gon' make it just so we gon' turn the storm. She gon' bust that up like she shootin' poor. Bitch, I'm in the A. What the fuck you thought? She about to get paid. What's up, man? I spent a lot of summers in Henderson. Oh, I know where Henderson is. In Franklin, too. Okay. All my cousins live in Kingston. Yeah. Hey, yo, shout out to Fayetteville, too, man. Fayetteville State, what it do? Bronco Pride, this bitch, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. That's what's up. So, man, you told the people. Hey, what's up with that video? Hold on, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Last time I talked to you, I asked you where my. I just say you beat me too. I just say you beat me too. Musical apparel was. I'm pretty sure I just. I just say. I just say you now. We was just having a conversation about that. Not even just your joint. You know what I'm saying? Because we was already trying to find a new printer for the hats. You know what I'm saying? Because that's pretty much you know what I'm saying. What we're doing right now. So we are looking at the stitch. When have you ever seen me without a hat? Nah, 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 nah. Nobody wants to get pictures. I'm always in the hat. Hear about you, which is just about everybody now, because I got a lot of people asking. Okay. We're just trying to find, you know what I'm saying, a friendly situation for the printing of the hats, you know what I'm saying, because we're not really pleased with what we got. You know what I'm saying? Like, the hats are cool, but it's not really what we thought we were going to get when we saw it, you know what I'm okay. saying? It's not like walking in Walmart and getting something, you know what I'm saying? When you look at online, you just kind of, you know. Definitely, I can respect that. I can respect that. But, um, you know what I'm saying? I definitely want to thank you for coming out, man. I want to thank you for having me. You man, I hope it won't be the, the, the first and last time, you know, you oh, come nah, out. Oh, nah, nah, nah. It took me a little bit to get here the first time, but, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know where we at now? Oh. Scenes from the video? Nothing. I ain't even going to say nothing. <laughs>
Hey. When we say, yo, when she say pull up, pull up. That's all I'm saying. See, they, but they don't be understanding, man. When she say pull up, pull the fuck up. Yeah. They don't, they don't be understanding, man. They be like, oh, I'm like, all right. Cool. Yeah. Hey, cool. I was just trying to clear room my schedule. You know what I'm saying? From the pictures and shows and shit. Like, yo, let me. All right, boom. I ain't doing nothing this weekend. Let's let's go make it happen. You know what I mean? So the next time I say pull up. Pull up. Hey. You know, I'm a co sign that shit. You know, I got your back. Yeah, I'm a co sign that shit. You got the kids over there, you know what I'm saying? You're yeah. doing auditions. Yeah. I'm looking for that uh, butt naked cook. Yeah. With them stilettos on, you know what I'm saying? That kitchen yeah. over there. Mm-hmm. The job, yeah. the food. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. not the, you, know what you know what I'm saying? So you already know, man, when it gets warm outside, mm. the hot tub, it's cold. Like my. Like my Uncle Bo Jack say, let that be the reason. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't know now, you know, man. Straight from Mr. Exclusive himself, man. But I definitely thank you for coming out and fucking with me, man. You, we, we family, man. Oh, you already Team know. Team light skin. Since day one. Since day, <laughs> since day one. one. Since day, day one. one, man. So, but I definitely appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? We're going DJ J. Stu got something else. So, you know, you already know what to tell them, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. I got a couple. Song. No, you got some. Yo, yo, drop, drop that, um, drop that, um, uh, that somewhere. You know what I mean? That's a, that's a, that song from that album, like I said, like yeah. Project in the Middle. You know what I'm saying? I, I send you that later. <laughs> <laughs> whenever, whenever you tell me, give me something, I don't need questions. I downloaded it and put it in. I, I appreciate it. You don't even have to. I don't need no, no explanations needed. I appreciate it. You got it? DJ J. Stu, drop, drop that, that shit. shit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> 